Yeah. 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 I, I built the Suckmaster in 2002. I think it was the first time it competed. Um, anyway, it's won three consecutive years in a row. Uh, last year, somebody picked it up and it started it up and it drove itself off the table. And in spite of that, it's still won. Maybe because of that. Who knows? I've had, I just tried it out here a little while ago and it had a problem. There was a broken piece and I've duct taped it back together. I got my fingers crossed that that's, uh, that'll work. That'll do it. Finger crossed. Yeah, duct, duct tape is like, uh, I hope. If it doesn't work, it'll act all weird and try to attack the corners and stuff. Well, let's get it started. You can, you can narrate while it's going on. Are we ready? Are we ready? Three, two, one, go! Wow, fast out of the starting gate. Man, whoa! That's so good. It has uh, front, two front-looking sonars and two side-looking sonars. There's strict no. rules about moving that chair, I want you to know. So if it's the evil chair, we can see movement. He loses points for that. We have front bump sensor down for the walls and low objects, which is that lamp. And that brass bar across the top is to detect higher objects, such as the legs of the chair. Now, is this actually a vacuum, or is it scooping? Or? It has a foam paint roller spinning about 1,000 RPM in the, in the bottom uh, tube made out of PVC. And rice goes up into a slot in that tube and hits the paint roller and then is accelerated and spun at high speed straight up. And it goes up into that round cardboard mailing tube. Two minutes, halfway. Now, there's three modes of operation. Four mo rice came in there that time. Actually, four. Initially, it goes around the perimeter, to hits that box, then it goes into the middle and just randomly drives until it touches another object. Eventually, it'll go into its third mode, which is randomly drive until it gets just close to an object using the sonar. And the final phase, I got to get my beacon standby. Yeah, his beacon. <laughs> I think the beacon's usually set up before the match. How, how much time do we have? Take your time. This is, there's an extra, very large bonus for getting back to the retro station. Yeah, when you're a club photographer, you forget things like your beacon. Or you do, <laughs> I don't multitask very well. This is really cleaning up that one strip over there. You know, if, if any of you guys spill a whole lot of rice in your house, we know what to do, all right? <laughs> won't have, won't have thing on Lego. They go right. No. Rice and only long grain rice. <laughs> Very specific. Yeah, we changed the rice one year and almost no robot vacuum it up. So just the, adjusting the rice can make all the difference. We must be close. Got a minute left. This is our last year for the vacuum cleaner uh, contest. We're going to be sorry to see it go. We do have a, a new replacement contest. You see the field over here on the right, on the left, your left. One minute. One minute left. And uh, that's what we're calling it scavenger bot. There's a lot of changes going to come before you make it an official program. We always have a, a main competition that uses a, a non-trivial, truly autonomous task. 